Hey, I just want to make a quick video for anyone else who was in a similar situation to the one I was in regarding buying a car that, um, well, the seller admitted that they didn't exactly have the title in hand, which is not what they said when we were exchanging money, but that doesn't matter. Um, if for some reason you buy a car that doesn't have a title or you want to buy a car that doesn't have a title, like you're one of these lucky people that find an awesome old car in a barn or in a field or something, like one of those old Volkswagen buses or something, and you just have no idea how to track it down. If it's 15 years or older, then you can go through the Vermont registration process. And then after you do that, you can go to your own state and transfer your registration to the state you live in. You don't have to live in Vermont to do this. I know, it seemed kind of weird to me also, but as you can see, it worked because I just got my plates. So uh, the only um, criteria is that, well, one, you have a car that's 15 years or older, or vehicle, motorcycle, bus, jitney, whatever that is, we'll go into that, um, and that you have a bill of sale. And a bill of sale, it doesn't even have to be notarized or official in any way, so we'll go through it. You can go to the Vermont DMV website, download the let me show you, Vermont registration tax and title application. When you download this, it'll give you two copies of this first paper. You don't need them both. So, not to state the obvious, but when you go through, obviously it's owned. Uh, you put your name, your address, same, uh, date of birth, all that. Then down here, you put the seller's name and the seller's address. And they can sign this. Or, if you just have the bill of sale, they don't have to sign this, okay? Now, this does not have to be the registered owner of the car. This has to be the person you bought the car from. So that's where this is useful. If you are buying a car that someone else bought and they didn't get it transferred into their name. And for whatever reason, they're not talking to whoever it was that they bought the car from originally. Uh, so you go down here, new registration, it's a car, it was an 04, which is the youngest car that would be applicable for this uh, application here. New, used, you don't have to put the odometer reading, it, it doesn't matter. This is what messed me up, was, because uh, I put the purchase price, you know, it was like $200. But the NADA value, I went online and got the value of the car. Well, they disagreed, and Vermont sent me my check back and said that the NADA value was different. So you have to go on the NADA. You can't go to Kelly Blue Book or any other uh, car valuing estimator site. Um, this thing will tell you like uh, some more information. Like I said, only cars that are 15 years old or newer will get a registration. 15 years or older, sorry, 15 years or older will get a registration, not a title. They don't call it a title. I don't know why. And, ah, here's the price list. If, uh, you know, I don't know what you're buying. You might buy like an ATV, a motorcycle, whatever. But for autos, it's $76. And I think, uh, oh yeah, and the warranty fee is $6. So that's all that you put right here in this thing. The $76 for the registration fee, the $6 for the warranty, and 6% of the NADA value anybody else's value <laughs> okay and then you'll send your check and if everything is correct they will send you your plates 
and then about a week later, you'll get one of these funny envelopes that you have to tear the edges off, and that'll be your sticker that actually goes onto the plate itself. And then you're good. And then at that point, I mean, you can keep these plates, but if you're living in another state, I think all states have the law that you have to, um, you know, register it in your state within like 30 days. So that's it. It was kind of a long process. It took me about a month to do, uh, but it was a little longer because of the initial rejection over the, uh, you know, the NADA value. They disagreed. So I hope this helps somebody else that bought a car and then can't get a hold of a title uh, or you found this car in a barn or whatever. Um, there's other ways to do this, like through a title bonding company, but that costs a lot more money. And if you're already buying a really old car, maybe you don't want to spend five, six, seven hundred dollars on a title bond, you know, for your state. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody.